Now we're going to reinstall our piston rings onto our piston. We always start with the lowest ring, which is normally the oil control ring. Since this is a three-piece oil control ring, we're going to start with putting the expander in first. That's the center piece. We wrap it around. On this style, the two ends butt together. There will be styles of expander to where you have to overlap them. You will need to look at the instructions and make sure you follow the instructions for your style of expander. But in this case, the two ends are supposed to butt together. Next, we'll take one of the scrapers. Typically, these scrapers do not have an up or down or a top and bottom, and typically they are identical. We'll install our edge of our scraper at the bottom of that expander, making sure we're away from the split in the expander. And we'll rotate it around in position and drop it in. When properly installed, those two components should move like this together. Here is the gap in the bottom expander. Here is where my expander is, or my bottom scraper, excuse me. Here is the two ends of the expander that are butted together. Now I will go to the other side and install my upper scraper. With the upper scraper installed, the three pieces should move, as you see here. Next, I will install my compression rings. There's two compression rings on most pistons, the second ring and the top ring. And you'll notice that these rings have dots on them. If the ring has the dot and you have no other rules with your package of rings, the dot goes up. So we're going to put that little dot up. We're going to use our piston ring pliers, expand the ring carefully, not over expanding it because we don't want to break it or overstretch it. We're going to set it in position and it should fit into the ring groove and move freely whenever we drop it in. The next ring has a dot. I'll put the dot up. My pliers are in position. I'll expand the ring, being careful again not to over expand it, and I'll put my top ring in position. Now I have my rings installed on my piston. I need to properly align my ring end gaps. The service manual will tell you where to align the ring end gaps, but a rule of thumb is to never put one gap over the other. We want them staggered. If the service manual does not give you instructions on where to put them, we usually want to put them about 180 degrees apart, not directly over the top of the piston pin unless the service manual says so.